Broadcast of this championship game is made possible by The Cherokee Nation, our people, our culture, our history, our future. To learn more, go to visitcherokeenation.com and say hello to the Cherokee Nation. You'll find us at the end of a lot of long country roads, covering over 60% of the great state of Arkansas to provide reliable power to over half a million homes, farms, and businesses. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, your local energy partners. John's Honda, your hometown dealer for sales and service of Honda motorcycles, ATVs, Honda generators, and Honda lawnmowers. Family owned and operated since 1967, John's Honda offers factory certified technicians and experienced sales staff. Hey, welcome inside Halftime at AETN Studios. I'm your host, Ed Leon. We're hoping that you're enjoying the broadcast of the state football finals from War Memorial Stadium. We've got a packed halftime show for you, including the story of a local football family that has turned their personal loss into an inspiring example of hope. But first, we wouldn't be able to do these broadcasts without the partnership we have with the AAA, the Arkansas Activities Association, and everything they do behind the scenes to support Arkansas high school sports. Here to talk about that is the director of the AAA, Derek Walter, assistant director. I gave you a promotion, buddy. Good to yeah, see that's you. Good. good to see you, Ed. Thanks for having us today. No problem. Hey, let's talk a little bit about uh, what the AAA does for high school sports. It's a lot of, I think people just don't understand how uh, expansive it is what you do. You know, we get confused with insurance companies and, and you're, you're to help you with your car. Right, and right. So <laughs> the Arkansas Activities Association is the governing body for high school activities and athletics in the state of Arkansas. And we are a, a, a organization made up of our member schools. And so uh, our member schools, we've got over 500 member schools. They make all of our rules um, and, and we just kind of organize those and enforce those throughout the year. And so um, we're probably the most democratic organization there is in the state. Every school gets a vote uh -huh. and that uh, every August we come together as a governing body and that's what uh, makes our rules. So that's kind of us in a nutshell. So you're like the um, league. We're are the league. you the, the NFL could, yes, or, or the like NBA? The that's right. right. That's right. Uh, so talk a little bit about what it takes to put on the state finals at War Memorial. It's got to be an undertaking, right? So we're excited to be back at War Memorial Stadium. We know they've, uh, you know, the parks, uh, state parks department has put a lot of uh, new things there as far as infrastructure and we're excited to be a part of that that again this year. Our staff, obviously it's all hands on deck when we get to War Memorial. Uh -huh. um, and then War Memorial staff, they, they come in and it's going to be a crazy three weeks for them as they host the Razorback game and then our two weekends of championships. And, you know, everything from parking to concessions uh, to manning all three of and the And you the touch floors. all that stuff. We do. Yeah, How we touch a staff? lot of it. A our staff, we're, we're about, uh, we have about eight directors and about four to six of us will, will touch the finals. So um, it's, 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 like I said, a lot of us there yeah. and a lot of us working a lot of long hours. Well, uh, I don't know if people know, you're also involved in the Quiz Bowl, which we do here That's on right. AETN. Activities. And you've got a new, I think, super exciting sport that you're, uh, you're bringing into Arkansas. Talk about that a little bit. So this is the second season for eSports in the state of Arkansas. Yeah. We're excited. We partnered with a company called Play Versus, mm -hmm. and they're, uh, they're a company that specializes in high school eSports. And, and so we're going around. We had over, um, over 100 schools participate and over a thousand students and so our goal in esports is to touch students that, that don't you know aren't in the band and don't play football yeah um touch a new student that now they can participate in something right and we're excited about that you know partici participation rather um we see higher grades higher attendance um and better Absolutely. behavior. So we're, we're excited about it. All e right, mom and dad, it's okay. They can play, they can right. play some video games right. out after school. So this is our second year uh, together yes, uh, during uh, doing the, uh, the sports championship finals, AETN and the AAA. Uh, how's it going? How's it going so far? What we do you had think? A What's great been the reaction? First year. You know, I know uh, we got to know each other. You and your staff, Tanisha, Dwayne, and and all of AETN Sports have been great to work with. As as we kind of start this new chapter of, of televising the state championships, and our first year, just tons of positive feedback from the state. You know, before we had had a TV broadcast, but we were isolated in certain parts of the state, right. and so now we reach almost a hundred percent of it. And we just had excellent feedback. Statewide. And we're expanding, right? That's right. Tell we them. are. We are adding baseball and softball this year to our lineup of championship sports on AETN. And we're, we're excited. I know from the beginning that was kind of our long-term goal was to kind of to branch yeah. out. And 
had our first year under our belt, and I know uh, here at the AAA, it's been it's been great uh, to have it on AT, and All we right. thank you guys. Hey, listen, we thank you for the partnership. Thank we couldn't you, do it without you. Stick around for a minute uh, because I want to tell folks about an opportunity uh, for membership that we have here. Uh, it's called the AETN Sports Booster Club, and that it helps support these broadcasts that we have of the state finals, like Derek just mentioned, in football, basketball, baseball, and softball, as well as the Arkansas sports stories that we're going to air during the games. Uh, so we have two levels of support. Uh, one we're calling the Rookie Membership for $35. It's your opportunity to help us uh, keep these broadcasts on the air. And you get, for this, this uh, membership, you get a, a choice of some gifts. Uh, we have thank you gifts. We have a whole variety of them that you can choose from. One, the one on the bottom is a blanket, which is pretty cool. And a year of the AETN magazine that keeps you looped in on everything happening on Arkansas Public Television. And then we also have the All-Star membership. Now, this one is $60, includes all the benefits of the rookie membership, plus a one-year subscription to AETN Passport, which is a member benefit that allows you to stream all your favorite AETN and PBS programs on demand on any device you want, anytime you want. Uh, in fact, we have a clip right now to show you what's on AETN Passport right now this month. This month in Passport, your on-demand library of the best of PBS. We're all back together and we're not going anywhere. We've tried to be normal and we just can't do it. Satellites orbiting the Earth can look down at our planet in extraordinary detail. These and other shows are available with Passport. Become a member of this PBS station, sign in, and start streaming today. All right, here's how you become a member of the special AETN Sports Booster Club. You go to aetn.org slash sports, or call us, 1-800-662-2386. That's 1-800-662-2386, or do it online at uh, aetn dot org slash sports. Hey, Derek, thanks for coming by, man. Thanks, All right, appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, the story we're about to show you is a profile of Reed and Greg Hughes of the Conway High School Wampus Cats. And it's more than a football story. It's the story of a family, their bond, their deep loss, and the memory they honor one tackle at a time. It's a unique feeling. There's no other wampus cat in the world. A six-legged blue cat, you don't get that very often. They fight their guts out every snap. Well, you can set goals of winning five or six games, but there's no sense in all that. Your goal is going to be to win it all. Well, it's great having him as a coach, and you know, he's really good at splitting it between home and the field. So if he's mad at me in the field, he's good at not carrying it all the way home and getting mad at me at home. But there's those times that you can tell he's yelling at you as dad and not coach, and those are the scary ones. It's fun. It's fun dealing with him. But sometimes it's a challenge because you got to balance that dad and son aspect of life. But uh, my wife always told me when I got home, you stop. That's it. You let it go. So I did, and I do. She was the biggest fan I've ever had. You know, she was the biggest supporter and just the most inspirational person I had in my life. And she kept me pushing through whatever I had, and uh, she gave me strength that I can't even describe. <sighs> He's so strong. He spoke at FCA out here on the Field of Faith night. And he spoke about his mom, about the fight and the battle, and no matter what's going on in your life, you know you've. You've got God here to fall back onto, to help you, to pick you up. You know, he told the story a year ago to the day. She was sitting in the stands, sick, not feeling good, wrapped up in a blanket, and that's just the way she is. 
Well, she was always going to be there for whatever they did. Any kid did. She never missed a thing, sick or not. My daughter, she's an extremely strong human being. When my wife was diagnosed with cancer, she was at Arkansas State. Then when we figured out we got to get some treatments, Haley had come to us and said she had already changed. She was going to UCA. She'd already fixed her scholarship. She'd already taken care of everything over that Christmas break to get to here, to be home, to help. Well, it's been hard. Um, well, for 25 years of coaching, when the game's over, I'd turn around and she's walking on the field to see me. That smile, win, lose, or draw. She had that smile to come hug me and give me a kiss. But she was the most encouraging person around us. Well, right before she passed, she told me, uh, go hit someone hard. And uh, that's, that's what I've tried to do. And so for every tackle that I get on the field, there's donations made by sponsors towards cancer research in Arkansas. I'm the upwards of 100, so I think, I think there's been a lot of donations. That's been amazing. Reed finished the season with 170 tackles. Uh, that website again is ConwayTacklesCancer.com. All donations benefit the American Cancer Society. Kim Hughes was a big supporter of the Conway Wampus Cats and touched everyone around her. Her legacy lives on through her family. All right, that's going to do it for us here on the Halftime Show. Thank you for joining us here at AETN. On behalf of the entire studio crew here, at AETN, I want to thank you, and we're going to send you back to War Memorial Stadium for the second half. I'm Ed Leon. Thanks for joining us. Yes.